<laughs> By the way, you I've, have you done the gathering of the juggalos? I've done it nine times. Damn. I have tripped acid all nine times. I was there the year they threw shit at Tila Tequila. Oh. I was there. It was awesome. It was so incredible. It was the greatest moment ever. She got on stage and they started booing her. Mm. And then she just like leaned into it and like pulls her top off and starts shaking her titties. And like she thought like juggalos would be like, oh, well, no, we're going to cheer for that. These are juggalos, bitch. Everybody out here shaking their titties and fucking smells like my pecker. It's fucking, you know what I'm saying? They've been <laughs> they, not because I'm a juggalo at heart, not because juggalos think, but because they've been camping for five days in the woods in fucking 80 and 98 degree weather and doing drugs. Listen. Right? And so you're shaking your tits and they just start throwing just <sighs> bottles of shit and piss at her. <laughs> I'd like to point out I haven't met many juggalos that I've came away from being around and said, they smell nice. Yeah, well, listen, I've got some of the best drugs and weed on earth. I can tell you this. <clears throat> if I have a car, oh, sorry about that. Just I, pop it I, right I, on. I've been fucking with this to the point. I was try, I've been trying to break it for Just an take hour. it off. Yeah. No, I've, I want to plug the cash, you know. I might have did it, though. There, it's oh, on. There That's we go. Good. Look at there me. Go. Fucking let's go, son. If I break down Dang. on the side of the road and I see a car pull up with that hatchet man on oh, the back. Oh, you're good. Thank you. God. The most... Genuine people. That's why I said I'll always be a juggalo at heart. Those people are the best people on earth. And you want to get good acid? You call a fucking juggalo. Mm. If you don't call a dude that's a fucking deadhead, if, if you got to either have a teddy bear tattooed on you or a hatchet man tattooed on you to give me any psychedelic except for you, Kev. It's Literally. So, it's so funny. There's like teachers now with like hatchet man tattoos and shit. Oh yeah, for sure. That were just tripping balls watching Tia Tequila get sh- absolutely shit. Just wearing shit big old water. Janko pants. For fucking Fucking sure. great Malenko jerseys. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just fucking. You know, remember those Jinkos? Oh yeah. You had a pair. Do you remember, no, no. But you never had a pair no, of Jinkos? My cousin was a big juggalo. I'm though. guilty. I had a pair of Jinkos. But do you remember like the bottom of them, how yes. like crusty they'd get because they'd drag under your they shoe? Would drag. Oh, my God. I love crusty stuff, though. You could probably yeah. tell. But big you could put a whole filth. two liter in the pocket. Yeah. Oh, you could put anything. Listen, yo, yo, this is the advantage of being fat. I have this pocket right here in my denim jacket. I can fit a bottle of tequila in, smuggle it anywhere. Wow. True story. I am always, I normally have a bottle of tequila on me. When you were at the liquor store earlier, I thought that's what you were getting, so I didn't bring any. No, I had to get water. Oh, is there a, was there a drug bridge at the dr- gathering of yes, the juggalos? Yes, it was the best bridge ever. So, so there's like so, so at the gathering of the juggalos. I don't I know if it still is the case. You. I gotta take you. But there's a supposedly like a free drug bridge or some shit, right? And I heard there's like a fuck hut. Yeah, dude, it's a community fucking festival. I wonder what that smells like in there, though. The fuck hut. Well. <laughs> I have a reference point, but it's just. Did you ever fuck in the fuck hut at uh, the gathering? I had never fucked in the fuck hut at the gathering. But you fucked. I at fucked the at the gathering. Nice. It, the gathering fucks. It is awesome. Yeah. It will change. Listen. So they used to have it cave in Rock, Illinois. The only way to get there was during the day by ferry. You had to take a ferry, or you had to drive like four hours around the other way to get there, or you could take a ferry over. It was on <laughs> private property, so they could do anything. Right? Anything. It was a complete fucking chaos. It was absolute lawlessness. You know what the same thing of the gathering is? Mud parks. I play mud parks all the time. Mm. These festivals, these off-road ATV parks, mm-hmm. they're the gathering for country people. Ah. They go out there and camp for four days and fucking, it's lawless. They do drugs. They fuck. <laughs> They fucking drink themselves to sleep. They catch shit on fire and they ride fucking four wheelers. It is heaven on earth. It is the best experience I've ever. Every time I play one, I pull up early. I have somebody bring the four wheelers out. We tear shit up. It is a blast. The gathering's the exact same way. It's just like, it's like everybody's there for the music and peace. You don't hear people arguing. People right. are just well, talking like a, shit to each other. The juggalo thing, if. They're, it's like a family-oriented fan base, right? Yeah, for sure. No, yeah. they're, they're, that's their whole thing is family. Yeah. It's a, dude, I'll take you to one. They're a ball. I tried to play this one this year, but I had a scheduling conflict. I've been to a, a few shows yeah. where they shoot Fago into the crowd. Yeah, yeah. That's like the show. They do it the last night, too. But They did a they did a tour with like <laughs> Tech 9 mm-hmm. Cottonmouth Kings, and Bone Thugs. That was and, one of the biggest tours Bo- ever. Bone Thugs and Harmony. Yes, what a... I saw them at Mesa Amphitheater. What was the name of that like tour? It had six, a crazy name too. Yeah, it was like, like really big. They did Mesa Amphitheater at 
which is like 6,000 people sold out, yep. and they were fucking launching two liters into the sky of Fago. You know how hard it was to sell hard tickets back then? You couldn't, like, you had to advertise, like, traditional ways. True. Like, it, I remember... Word of mouth, radio, you know how I used to flyers. always get... I used to always just pick up a New Times, which is like a free newspaper in Arizona, yeah. and you just go in there and see what shows... I, that was the only way I knew what shows were coming. Yeah. Now it's like the internet. I play... Yellow Wolf has a fucking one of my favorite gathering stories ever. They shot a bottle rocket while he was performing. Mm. And he goes, at this moment, fucking true yellow wolf fashion, he goes, which they weren't shooting it like to be mean. It's just a gathering, right? They're just fucking off. They're just shooting fireworks. And he goes, I bet you can't hit me with a bottle rocket. Dude, hundreds of juggalos just start shooting bottle rockets. <laughs> yellow wolf. He's up there like, dude, he's slipping them like Tyson in 84. He's foo Boom, moving, boom, they're whizzing by, and he goes, ha ha, motherfuckers, and he's rapping while doing it. It was like one what of the, the dopest fuck? things I've ever seen. 